Hey everyone, welcome back to Ormsby Farm. So, last week I didn't do a, a, a video on what we did for the pantry challenge, the Three Rivers Challenge, um, because I was super busy and I took off the whole week because of my birthday week. So, now we're back and on this video, all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of our meals because really they're pretty much the same so it gets repetitive on the videos. But let's get into the video and let's get the dinner started for tonight. I'm coming home. All righty. So we're in the kitchen and let me just tell you, I'm gonna show pictures on the screen here. I had a wonderful, amazing birthday dinner. All of it was stuff that was prepped, prepared, frozen, canned, all that good stuff um, that we grew or our friends grew. The only thing that we bought, and I bought it a couple months ago, was lobster tail because I'm bougie and I wanted a lobster tail for my birthday. So, so we, we had fabulous T-bones from our dear, dear friends over at Long Pine Cattle Company. Um, we had our sweet potatoes. We had asparagus um, that I had frozen and prepped. Um, we had um, a cheesecake that I got from Longhorn. So I did spend some money on that. But remember, $50 February. So I was able to spend for that. And we had a Caesar salad. I'm gonna show all the pictures here. Um, but it was so, so good. But tonight's dinner, one, is in the Instapot right now because it's pressure cooking. And that is, I'll show a video here. One of our dear friends here in the town where we live got, um, gave me a, some venison roast and ground venison. So we've done the ground venison, now it was time to do the venison roast. And so our friend over at Long Pine Cattle Company told me one night, oh, you should pressure cook this roast in your Instapot 40 minutes. Let me tell you, it was the most tender and shredded like a dream. So I said, hmm. I'm gonna try and do that tonight. So, with just our home canned um, veggie broth um, and some garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, I threw that venison roast in there. It has been pressure cooking for about 40 minutes. I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna shred it, and we're gonna make a stroganoff tonight. Y'all, I am so excited. Um, everything, again, is something that we have prepped way before time, so it's good to find it in the freezer and say, hmm, I wanna use that. And that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and wait. It's almost time for it to beep. Um, and then I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna let it come down from the pressure and I'm going to shred it. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the stroganoff sauce. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, y'all, so I let it come down. I did kind of do the manual release. I'll show you right here, because when it's up, you see it's there. So I let it vent to wait all the air, all the pressure to come down. And I'm gonna open it up away from my face. I don't know if you can see the seam on there. But look, look, I bet it's shreddable. And here, I'm about to warm this up. This is a cup of sour cream. It's a little bit of the cream of chicken and some homemade seasonings of garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of flour, a little bit of, um, what else is in there? Uh, I think minced onions in there as well, but it's kind of like a homemade stroganoff seasoning that I, I go ahead and put in little jars when I'm ready to use it. So I'm going to bring it up to a boil and I'm going to shred the venison meat and put it and mix it all together. But I probably should get, let me go ahead and get some noodles starting. Y'all, I don't know if you can tell how tender it is, but it was like pull apart um, venison right there. I'm going to mix it up with the sauce that I've created down there while the noodles is boiling. Now I did put some of the broth that was left in there in here and we may stir it up and may add a little bit more, but oh my gosh, y'all. I'm about to stir it up with a stroganoff sauce. Then once the noodles are done, I'm gonna put it all together and show you how it looks. All right, it's mixed up. The noodles is done. Let me get it mixed all together. Yum. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. Well, y'all, yeah, I, I don't even have words. I'm ready to eat it. So that's all for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, make sure you're liking and subscribing and hitting that bell icon. You know the drill. 
Follow on social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, all of the above, and I will see you on the next video. It's almost over, y'all. The Three Rivers Challenge is almost over. It's been so much fun. I'll see y'all later. Be blessed. I'm coming.